I really don't feel like filming at all. I'm still out of it. Uh, I'm doing better. Uh, thanks to so many people, man. So, I had so many people uh, giving me some real good vibes, man, and, and, and best wishes. I appreciate that, man. You guys are the best, really. You guys are amazing. Um, and there's a lot of good things happening, too, bro. I'm, I'm very happy to see a lot of Nitro guys getting along again. A lot of Brat Brothers getting back together and helping one help each other out. And man, that, that's making me feel better. But um, honestly, uh, yeah, that's that was good stuff, man. I've been been watching a few uh, few guys. I've been just freaking in the damn couch. I can't lay down. I gotta like sit up. Uh, I can't breathe right. Still, I'm still screwed up, man. But um, there was a couple of nights I, I, I forced myself to like. Just like, I want to get busy, man. Because if I stand for too long, I still get dizzy. But uh, it was a couple of nights ago, and I was up for a couple of hours, man. My mind, I was just busy. I was over here, I was going over this thing, you know, just going over a few things. <clears throat> and I just got into the a little job. I, the Brovin, the first Brovin engine is removed from my Max D. Um, I'm getting into this. Um, we have chassis I want to show you guys uh, there's, there's a bunch of stuff I, I, I want to do But I want to have on record uh, that, I, that I want to put on video That way it's up I want to give you guys part numbers as well um, I was just going to just keep going uh, The right thing to do was to do a full build on this And, and do a whole damn videos of it But I, I don't have time for that I'm not going to do that I will show pictures I will show pictures here or there Um I just want to get back to this. I want to get this going. I'm going to have some fun with that. I'm going to stop beating on this. <coughs> I want to change the pipe. Uh, possibly upgrade the engine later in, in, in a bit. Uh, but we're going to run everything stock for now. Um, I also have possibly future plans putting uh, some RC Max uh, diff cases on here. And uh, we'll see. We'll see. We have... I also, I thought about putting the BR40 in here. I had, I did, I'm not gonna lie. I, I, was, I was I was, thinking of doing that, but I'm not. I'm not, I'm not gonna do the BR40 here. Um, speaking of the BR40, my man Felice's BR40 is ripping ass, man. Check this video out, bro. Now, this BR40, Felice's BR40, I had sent it back to Chris Bartolone he wound up changing the reed cage and he wound up doing the WJ71 carburetor. How one of his, one of Chris's personal BR40s is made. All right, but like if you buy a BR40, like the BR40 I have comes with a 1107 modified that Chris did with the spring. But uh, if you guys with your BR40s, if you want some more power, man, send that back to Chris. He'll the WJ71 carb that shit. Now check this video out real quick. It's uh it's not a two-wheel drive Baja that can wheelie so easy. It's a four-wheel drive low C5T. Alright? Did a wheelie. A four-wheel drive truck. Wheelie. Alright? Check this out. <laughs> yourselves a WJ71.
good thing about that engine is it can run all day and run cool all day. You know what I'm saying? So it's a workhorse as well. Dude, that thing can idle all day, run all day. Beautiful engine, beautiful engine, really. Uh, workhorse. Uh, that's why for a basher, you get it. That would be a badass engine, you know, like reliable, starts up one, two, three. You can run all damn day. You can let people borrow it. You don't have to shut the engine off, cool down, none of that. It's a beast. It's a workhorse of an engine that can rip ass. You know, that's what uh, I really like to be on 40. But uh, but anyways, yeah, so uh, I'm not continue. We're going to continue with the plans. Be a 40 on this. Uh, all right. So I want to show you parts. I want to show you goodies. I got goodies. I want to put everything on my records. Uh, there are so many people I would love to give shout outs to. And thanks for the support. Uh, Batter out from Kuwait. Uh, I'm sorry. I uh, I appreciate your help and all the kind words and everything you, you've been sending me. I've been busy. Uh, I have so many people I haven't gotten back to. Uh, I have a lot of people that I've gotten back to as well. That was, uh, took me a few days, a few days to get back to everybody. Uh, but I did. I, I, out of respect, I have to get back to everybody. You know, I, I, and I can't just say, I don't ignore no one. All right. So, but anyways, listen, we have some primal goodies. Roven goodies, uh, DDM goodies, and Track the Hobbies. Ray from Track the Hobbies, awesome. Big shout out to Track the Hobbies. He came here last night to my house. He dropped off some parts at the my, front of my door. My wife had uh, the money out under the carpet for him. I did not go out. I still, I'm, I don't want to um, be near anyone yet. Uh, the health department did okay for me to... It's okay for me to go out, but I'm gonna a couple more days. Um, I wanna still. I need a couple more days. I also had uh, I had asked my bosses if I can uh, take off the following week. I need another week off because I gotta go to doctors. I gotta go to pulmonary uh, a doctor. I have to go to a, another specialist to see what's going on because I'm still not good. I still have sweats, but uh, I'm way better than before. That's for sure. But uh, it's still not good. Like a little while ago, this morning I had a big breakfast. Oh, I've been eating, guys. I've been eating. Go like. <clears throat> but this morning I had a big breakfast. Fuck rape. I was like, that's it, man. I'm going to start wrenching. I'm going to do a video. I'm going to show everything. I'm going to. Because I have stuff in the garage I want to show you guys. I got to show it to you. Uh, I don't care for views. I'm not a guy that ever, never, ever asks for thumbs up, for, sh for, for subscribe to me. You guys know that. Never. I'm the I'm the guy. You you will never hear me say that. I don't do that. I don't do giveaways. I will give away shit, but I don't do giveaways for views. I will be giving away this beautiful heavy duty Baja chassis and rear plate. All right. So uh, if you're nearby, it's yours for free. If you're not nearby and if you really need it, depending on how I feel, all you got to do is pay for shipping and that's it. All right. All right. So, but let me get everything off that chassis it's a it's a really good chassis you guys can have it for free um and you can do your own build you can do whatever you want you can make a baja truck you can make a baja 5b you can make a even a drag racer you can even lighten up that chassis even more do some cutouts on it whatever you can drag race it's a baja you can do whatever let's, let's keep going forward i want to show you guys uh some part numbers uh some goodies i got um, let me bring uh, you in in a close up here. We got my hybrid still there. Still got to get a bunch of ton of parts. I do have some parts. I got some roving parts. I wanna. Oh, I'm gonna be putting on here besides some RCMX parts. Besides other parts, um, I'm planning on doing the push and pull system from Roven. I have it here. I'll show you. But now I'm thinking about using that system on my XLT. We'll get to that in a bit. X2, I want to still take that out and wrap that. I don't know how or when, but uh, I want to I want to go over that a little bit more. Uh, we also have future engines that we're going to test out on this on this guy here. All right, there's another engine that uh, Chris Bartolone's working on that I may try out for you guys to see if you want to one day buy in the future or not. Uh, it's going to you know a reasonable priced engine. Uh, Chris, speaking of engines, uh, we have a lot of RC Max engine stuff coming up for you RC Max fans. 
And we also have brand new, all new engines from Chris Bartolone as well. All right, the, when we get closer, we'll, I'll start bringing up a few things. He's got an all new head that he, that he did himself. I can't wait. Uh, it's gonna be like a game changer. Uh, so it's pretty, pretty cool. Uh, it's kind of really quiet, low key right now, but uh, you guys have an idea more or less now uh, what's, what to come. There's also great engines being done from my friend Wade Shorter, so stay tuned for that. He's got some badass little engines and some Scopod style engines, kid. I'm talking Scopods with 13 and a half to one compression, kid. All right, so stay tuned for that. Um, we'll talk more about that. I'm gonna give you his YouTube channel. I'm gonna give you his information if you guys wanna deal with Wade Shorter as well. He's got some real custom stuff. He's, he's really good, man, so stay tuned for that. Uh, we're gonna be going over this in the future. In the near future, I'm just waiting on a few things. But we have to unbox the body that I have for, the, for that for the past year, all right? That's there for the past year. I gotta unbox it. I wanna clean this shit up, all right? But uh, I'm only gonna pull that body out once my rims come in, I'm waiting for those wheels. And that's it, and uh, my babies are up here sleeping. My drag racers, all right, thank God. I'm the only one of, of my whole drag racing group that is not doing anything wrenching on my dragsters. Everything's still the same way. I did repair and rebuild my uh, extreme class and that was it. I threw it to the side. I don't have time. I'm gonna run what I have from last year, this year. I'll start the season off that way, I don't care. Um, we have a four, it's gonna be a four year old Bartolone 34 recase engine, same engine four years old this year. I'm gonna continue with the same thing. Uh, I was planning on lightening up my car again, but no, because I had to add so much weight to go straight and to go stay in, in the lines and all that. So why lighten it up? Why make it go uh, faster if it's gonna be harder to control? So I'm gonna keep the weight. Plus now the track size is gonna be shorter. No more 310 feet. We're gonna be doing 132 feet and 165, I believe. So stay tuned for that. There's a lot of stuff coming up, people. Um, all right, so let me bring you in. Let's get this over with. I uh, wound up rebuilding the transmission here. I got a, a bunch of these transmissions laying around. They're awesome. All right. I rebuilt it. Uh, put heavy duty gears, nice team fast eddy grease. I got um, Innovative RC uh, diff, and uh, I got the same Dark Soul tubes that I've had for years. King Motor Outdrive cups with the Dark Soul tubes. That's it. Not no extra heavy duty Outdrive cups, nothing. Stock, old ass uh, Baja Dark Soul um, Outdrive cups. All right? And with uh, Dark Soul tubes, that's it. All right, I also have more tubes here, custom made ones here. That I could always use in the future that we made. A friend of mine made for me. Whoop. Look at these, these are nice. He put grooves on them so the boots could stick to them really nice. These are thicker, bigger, stronger. You know, for off road, it should be nice. And they have a little weight to them. But uh, here's, here's a skinnier one, a lighter version. This is good for if you want to drag race. Way lighter. The other ones are much heavier. So, and. I still have the original Dark Soul tubes, but just in case, I heard that they, uh, they're not making them anymore, but that's what it looked like right there. I think uh, if you guys ask Steve DDM, they could probably come back out with it. But uh, but anyway, so, Track Day Hobbies was here. Uh, Ray, he dropped this off. I need this for my hybrid build. All right, this is a low-C radio tray. I appreciate it, Ray. So I'm gonna use this on my hybrid. I don't I don't care, I don't need fancy shit. I will be uh, giving it to my buddy Tom, Pit Talk Hydro, the Hydro Dip. Uh, all right, so I wanna do this. I want uh, the stock battery tray and receiver tray for the 5T on my hybrid. Um, I also have, we have this here, we're gonna unbox here real quick. Let me get the knife. This is from Roven RC. And this is what I want to use. We got some mints here, kid. We got some Primal RC mints here, son. 
Nice. These are great, by the way. I like them. Uh, here's his uh, box here. I was uh, taking everything apart when I was working on my Max T. Uh, so what we got here? So check this out, people. This here, I want for my steering. See this? Look at this. There's a part number. There's a part number. And I wanted to use this. I was going to have my friend deanodize this. Meanwhile, the silver is beautiful. But I was going to deanodize it and have a nice, shiny, raw aluminum from my the chroming place. All right? You guys know I'm friends with uh, Chrome Joe, my friend of mine. Uh, he's also going to be chroming my pipe. I will show you I have outside. But uh, I want simple. I want to keep that hybrid simple. Do you understand? Know the same. Keep things simple, stupid. I don't need no double... Uh, I just, I'm going to have one heavy duty ass steering servo, one quick, nice, strong throttle servo, and that's it. I don't need no dual servos. I don't need nothing fancy. I don't need no metal plates because, uh, you know, the metal to metal, sometimes they rub the vibrations and then the wires cut, then you burn servos up. I just, I have better luck like this. All right. So this push and pull system is strong. It's heavy duty. All you need is a one badass servo and that's it. So either a high tech or I may try out this brand new heavy duty servo that Primal RC has now. All right. So just uh, just to give you a heads up. All right. But now I don't know if I'm going to use this on my hybrid. I may have to get a second one of these. Why? Because I'm really planning on putting this on, on my uh, beautiful uh, XLT people. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. When you run your XLTs, when you bash them, make sure you run these two pins, all right? It keeps everything, it keeps this body secure, all right? Unlike the MTXL days when the body kept popping off all the time, all right? Look at this. I may just, look at all the goodies you get on this thing, man. Oh, stay tuned also. Roven's coming out with outerwares, all right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I can't wait till they come out the red one. I'm gonna put a nice outerwear over this air filter. We're going we're gonna to go over this truck together. I want to take this apart. I want to lube a few things here. I want to make sure there's no dirt, no nothing goes into the intake. We'll, we'll go over this together in, in, in a bit, okay? When I, this will make you a little better. Um, <clears throat> but look at this, people. I'm planning on, I want to see if I can make this fit here. You know, so I mean, look at this beautiful chassis brace, people. Look at this top plate. What a, what a, what a, what a beauty, huh? Yeah, so so anyways, yeah, so I'm gonna try that people. The only thing is this here is kind of long This is a little different But I'm gonna try to make this work. Let's let's work on this together. Well, let's see and then worst comes to worst I'll buy a second one of these for my hybrid when I get back to the hybrid. All right, so stay tuned for that Got a nice primal sticker Nice 